Thank you.
Sorry, give me a second. I have a situation I need to sort out real quick. Oh. When was this given? I don't under like we got this mail notice yesterday and it's like oh you need to come to the post office hey Rodney how are ya we've oh uh, well I can speak for myself it's been okay not the best, but, you know, we're chugging along. Same, same. Yeah, like, if you want to know more details, it's on Patreon. But, ah. Uh, you know, one of those things, one of those things. Yeah. I got a nice weekend over this last weekend, so that was lovely. And I felt rested for the first time in a very long while. So there's that. I mean, you know, we are, I find this place to not be like, hey, let's be lovely happy all the time. Um, I would try to avoid political discussion and religious discussion. However, It's, you know, 
if you feel like wanting to vent out, I welcome and open the doors. If you don't, that's fine too. Because you know, sometimes you just need other people to talk to. You know, that always sucks. I understand that. I've had to unfollow several of like my absolute favorite artists because let me actually let me just go ahead and do bloop. Nope. That's not the banner I want to let me also just do this. There you go. I started to just like set up everything. I'm like, oh wait, nobody can see what I'm doing. But as I was saying, so I'm sure you guys might have heard from me or twice or several times, but I'm pretty much against NFTs for now. I'm not against them forever because I understand artists need to make money and understand that it had good intentions. However, right now it's not very good for like with the world environmental crisis we're having to go through and you know it doesn't feel right to support that kind of cause even though it's for artists like me and and you know I want to feel good about the people I support because I want to feel good supporting them but if they're supporting a cause that I am pretty much against I can't say that I feel good supporting them any longer I'll feel sad that I won't see their work right away I guess but it's not like I'll never see their pieces or you know, I'll see them from time to time, I'm sure. And I, if I want to take a look at it, I can take a peek. But I'm not going to purchase or follow their social medias because I feel like that's supporting them. And again, I fully understand, you know, artists who do art for a living, it's not easy. Especially right now when conventions aren't viable. NFTs just give like, you know, an extra source of income, but I can't like there have been steps made to try and make it better. There's a uh, there's a different kind of NFT that uses a different form of whatever code thing it is. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I was reading it. Excuse me. Something was tickling my nose. Ah. But, you know, I, I like to stand by my ideals. And so I've just unfollowed the artist. Um, I'm, Duke, I'm almost positive that that is some kind of NFT pun thing. But I do not recognize it. And so it whooshes over my head. <laughs> I feel bad. You always like say puns or quips that are from somewhere I never know or like it escapes me all the time I feel I'm sorry but I'm just I'm just one of those people most of the things whoosh over me but anyway what I was saying sorry breakfast I just want to feel good about the people I support and so I just stopped supporting slash following those artists that I used to that I find participated in NFT some of them have participated I have one that I've just kind of been on the fence on because they gave um 
resources and links to the kind of NFT they were participating in, and it's supposedly the more environmentally friendly one. I am still gauging my stance on that, so I've just kind of put that on hold for now because this they seem to be trying to be as responsible as they can be without um while still supporting themselves and i can appreciate that i'm still leaning more towards them um, you know not supporting them but i'm still kind of debating on it So I'd say, if the artist has alienated you and if the changes that they made in their life goes against, like, your personal principles, beliefs, or if, you know, just the thought of you supporting them makes you uncomfortable, perhaps it's time to stop. It's unfortunate, and you never want to see the artist that you enjoy, like, fail in that way. But some artists, like, there will always be someone to support them. It might not be you. Maybe they'll lose some revenue. But it's kind of, that's their responsibility and not yours, you know? They chose that path themselves. You didn't force that on them. So, I think you should do what feels best for you. That is my thoughts on things like that. drawing something for a project I can't mention yet. So, I'm drawing two figures hugging. <laughs>
I have a feeling it becomes obvious the more I like clarify what I'm drawing, but yeah. about this package. Alright. Well, we'll do with that today. The only thing is I've drawn them this close, but I don't want them to be kissing. I just have to shift his head a little. Maybe just kissing her forehead. But today I'm drawing a bunch of other stuff. And of course we're going to be playing some Alex Hunter, Lord of the Mind. Man, my voice went out just at the right time and made that sound a little extra good. Also, I totally forgot. I need to put this on my Instagram and be like, I'm streaming guys, hey. TV slash ranks. Ronks. Link. I wish I I should really just make like a, a template and just like smack it there. But you know, God, I just. Nah. Or at least make the text so then I can just take a picture and then add a... Can you do that on Instagram? I just want to make my life easy. wanted to ask you guys so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try to change the the channel badges so like you know for example when I type um, where's my mouse oh. Oh. does this make it faster okay So like I have that video camera and a star. So I want to change those symbols to something more channel related. So I wanted to ask you guys what you think would be a good symbol. Cause one of the things, so <coughs> yeah. And I'm gonna change one of the sub emotes. Because as much as I love Star Babies, I don't think it's a good third level emote. I want it to be something like, wow, this is really cool. You know what I mean? But I don't want to put it there yet. We have a few channel jokes already, but. So. The hubby. 
has been playing Bug Fables in his channel. And I freaking love Tangerin. I'm thinking mods will have Tangerin as, an, as their sword. But... I don't know if that's what I want to do yet. Exactly. Because, like, you know, that I don't play that in my channel. But you can change all of the badges, to my knowledge. I mean, I could be wrong, but I want to plan for it anyway. Let's see. One second. Uh, settings. Channel. Brand. <laughs> I really also should make like a thank you screen. Um, where do I find this content? No, moderation? How about here? Loyalty badges. Okay, no, it looks like it's just the loyalty badges. So it's only like tier like um different monthly badges. What? I'm searching. I'm looking up stuff right now. I'm sorry. Seems like, yeah. I guess it's just that. Or maybe that changes is only for like if you're a partner and you have more. Nope, it looks like it's, um... Oh, wait. Managing your badge, Claire. Oh, no. Meh. Oh, well. I was really hoping. I guess that's to make it more clear across the board. <laughs> that's never happening. Like, to get to partner, you have to have an average of 75 viewers. Uh -uh. There's three of us here right now. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't really care. If it happens, it happens, but I honestly don't think it will. I'm like, I'm not that big. I 
Oh, I need I need some references. Hold on, let me back, go back to. Ah! Oh! <laughs> One second. <coughs> ah! Stuff in my throat. One second. My, uh, oh, my cousin is streaming, and I just stopped by his stream to be like, hey. and have your own custom badges there, not even partner. Um, no, it's really only the sub badges that you can change. So, like, if someone's been sub for like one month, two months, three months. Um, and if someone's sub tier one, tier two, or tier three, that's it. Or that's what it seemed like from my quick, uh, search. Okay, now, for my, uh, 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 oops, misspelled. Uh, 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 <laughs> hey Nana Owned I like when, On stream I Like to read What I type But I can't tell you What I'm working on So I'm just like wah, 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 wah. <clears throat> How are ya Nana Also like if if there's anything that is very telling, grad a project. Oh. Hey, you know what? I'm all about that life. I'm all about the get the shit out of way so I can do more fun things. So you know what? I I feel you. I feel you. I'm working on this project. I have several other ones, but I wanted to change it up a little and work on this one for now. Oops, I'm drawing on the long way. Wrong way. Nana, have you gotten my card yet? Oh my god. It's a fucking card. I'm gonna check, you know, I'm gonna check what the, um, <laughs> it's dumb, it's a fucking New Year's card, I'm gonna check what the status is now, if I can send you airmail, cause I'm gonna send you that freaking card if it's the last thing I did. I'll just keep sending you cards. The next thing you know, like, one day the post office just comes by and like, you have all this mail? Yeah, so what if it's in April? It all comes from one person. Oh man. But that is so ridiculous. Unless like mail by ship really just takes that long. Cause they I did have to send it by ship.
So there's that. What if it is, though? My mail is coming by ship. stop before the canal what if instead of going through normal means all ships have to just pass by through us or all the blockage of the ships that are unable to pass through the sewers is basically causing a blockage everywhere else so that's a thing <laughs> I saw a meme when they're like, back to tradition, and then it shows the ship route that goes around, like, uh, like around, you know, Africa, instead of the, through the canal. Actually, I'll put that in a different layer so I don't mess up the space that I am actually rather fond of that ship I hope they I do hope that they get that dealt with sooner rather than later I know that they're on a freaking everyone's scrambling to get that blockage taken out but whew, what a mess for me it's just like okay there's a sandstorm why the fuck are you still moving forward pause if you can't see where you're going I feel like that's kind of obvious or go really effing slow you know what I mean because I heard that's what happened there was like a sandstorm and they couldn't see where they were going but they just kept moving forward <laughs> right now look at where that's gotten them they're stuck in a bank Sometimes, like, sometimes I wonder if people who work in industries like that work on a different set of logic. Because I feel like most normal people would be like, all right, we'll send out, like, uh, an alert to everyone that there's a storm and we can't see, so we're pausing. I just 
I just want to know what kind of logic would tell you to keep going when you can't see. Like, I've driven through fog. And normally, I go really slow. Zetai <laughs> Muri. <laughs> What's the third one? Because that's two. No, I mean, uh, three words he said in Japanese. And that's the third one. I mean, there's two words in that sentence. Okay. <laughs> so Nana knows how to say no way and big. Okay. Somebody asks if we want beer, we say the cup. You're like, all right. Somebody wants to see, and it's like, you're dead, and you're like, zet time muri. Works out. If you're hungry, you say the and then you make eating motions. One second, I'm trying to put my blanket on. That means I have to put my... Fuck no, I'm fucking sent. <laughs> Pretty much. I'll teach you another one. I'll teach all of you guys a word. It's Maji. It's very slang. It's basically like saying, no way. Maji de. Or it was like, you can, a lot of people use it to just like, no way, you know, when you're talking. Maji. It's M A J I. Maji. Now you know a fourth word, Nana. We now know how to express disbelief. How are you today, Bones? Okay, I need to like... Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you would never use um, Maji in like formal situations. I mean, you kind of can. It just really depends. It's very uh, versatile, but I wouldn't say for like super formal situations that you'd use Maji. <laughs> Maji de. Eh, Maji. Hey, no, no worries. Don't die. <laughs> Good luck in your game. Having difficulty with your eyes. Oh. <laughs> the return of the big eyebrows. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Because, like, Creamy wanted to see how this would be like um where is it uh here uh no uh where did i put it random yes i put it in random uh I'm actually gonna open Photoshop for this because I don't know how to do this in, in, uh. I don't know how to do this, what I'm about to try and do. So let me do this and then this. And then, window, where is it, there you go, um, I want, uh, what different, Brendan, what's up? How come I can't? Um, well, I want it to not be this, but rather be onion skin. Uh, no. Oh, here. There you go. And then add one. Maybe five seconds is too long. Okay, five seconds is too long. Five, let's do point five. <laughs> Not much, came back from work, super nice weather. Oh, I feel that though. Like on my day off, it was like gloomy and rainy. And then the next day when I work, it was like, nice and lovely. It's like, damn it, I wanted to do my laundry. <laughs> Hold on. I'm, I'm saving this for you, Nana. Don't you worry. I should, I want to kind of... Okay, I need, I need to do a thing. One second. Because I, I want to do a bit more animation than just that, so let me. Uh. 
Um, actually. Oops, I'm just cleaning it up. So her hand will go down. to commission a friend of mine who does monster for more horrific form or was scared me <laughs> oh no she's like saying come here <laughs> Um, where is that freaking liquify tool? Oh god! Filter. Oh no, am I not allowed to? Okay. Liquify. Ugh! I hate it when it pops the window in a different area. Like, dude. So, when I, when I stream... I have a third monitor up, which is my... You can't see what I'm doing right now, so give me a moment. No, let's not do that. Okay. Her mouth opens a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Saving that. Um, random. It was under random. Do I have banana four? I yeah, just banana five then. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I miss making gifts. Oh man. I'd say do it. Also, I don't know if you know, but I do make monsters. Not very often, but I do make them. Here it is, Nana. Enjoy. Nope. Oops, sorry. I didn't turn on the clip studio. Um, hold on, let me see. Is it in here? Uh, it's possible it's not in here. Um, wait one second. 
shall not trigger a sins. Um, no, that's a redraw. Random. Oh, here it is. I'm gonna give you guys a preview of a monster I made. Don't tell anybody. Here's one of them. I have like how it works and how it functions and everything. Um, like here's like how it moves, the way it like regenerates and like pieces and I have well thought out monsters, all right. <laughs> yeah. It's not something I do often, but I do them. Um, I mean, Nana, you know I draw for Orion, right? I drew Simon. Like, I designed that one. I don't know if you know Simon. Yeah? <laughs> it's because I, like, it's not my default go-to. But <laughs> they haven't streamed in a hot minute. It's like that's where we met, Dana. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I got so much better at drawing horror because of him. Because I drew stuff for him. I have, I have so designed for him a lot of different like creatures and things that um, some of them have seen the light of day. There's still a bunch that haven't, though. Because whenever I design for Ryan, I normally make like two, three, four iterations, and then we'll talk about it, and then we'll change, and then like... Uh... <laughs> oh no, Nana. Sowing chaos wherever you go. Um, sure. I'd have to, like, look for them because they're kind of spread out here and there. Because, again, like, I've done them, but I don't, like, do them normally. So they're kind of, like, stowed away with whatever project that I did them with. Like, that, that monster that I just showed you, there's a bird version of it that I did... Um, but I don't want to show too much of that because that's going to be published in a D&D, &D, a self-published D&D &D thing that I'm working with. Um, that's why I'm just like, shh, don't tell anybody. But yeah, um, a friend of mine's working on a D&D &D map thing and I, he asked me to draw like a monster and I do that randomly for him. <laughs> I mean, you can. You just have to ask. I'm sure your stuff will be different from his stuff. Unless you're planning to just take whatever I've already done. Like, I can just design new things. Happy with your mouth. Because, and also, it's not obvious that she's like. I want it to be like kind of happy crying but it's kind of hard to show that when you can't see like the full face and it's partially hidden by his chin oh I'm sure like 
I've known you well enough that I know you won't just do that. You like to saw chaos, but you're not an asshole. You can be, but... This is slightly frustrating me. such a hard time. Okay, mm. I'm gonna put this on a separate layer so I can just play with it without... Got it. I should put that. There you go. Ah, I feel like her chin's too big. I think I'm happy with that.
just realized she's wearing a dress. Oops. Wasn't she? Ah, uh, no, I need to. I really should label these. I labeled them so I don't get confused.
Okay. getting confused by my own sketch lines. I probably should also reduce this just a little, maybe. Too much. There you go. I can draw it a bit more. Thank you. 
this. Oh man, Audio Surf. Such a good game. I remember Audio Surf. And it's so satisfying too. I, I associate it very much with this one because I used to play this on Audio Surf a lot. Um, ah, I forgot the song. It was like. I'm not doing this song any justice. Oh, so good. Um, is that on their arms? Yes. Yes, actually. Um, there. I think I can effectively remove those now. happy with the progress of this piece. Um. Yeah! Good job, Nana! Woot woot! Good job, Dana. Otsukare sama deshita, as they say over here. And that's basically a thanks for the hard work. So if you want to learn that word, now you know five.
Is this the project that you were talking about in preemie stream, Nana? With the the juicer thing, juicero. This one is just that's why we're just making fun of them. <laughs> Three. Okay. That changes things.
Okay. <laughs> Instant noodles are delicious. slotted with her arms oh sure I guess I want to make a selection. This won't spill over. Hair is always a difficult beast to tame when it comes to doing things like this. do this one manually since I'm already coloring so much of Thank you. 
What's up? Are you just here to give Nana a banana? I think he's not around. I think he went off to get some instant noodles. Ah! Why did it... Oh, oops. Like a big gaping hole right there. There we go. to eat the food I made was real spicy until he's a cook. <laughs> oh no. Go to the combini. Get something. Wait, did I just erase her face? Oh. I was like, what happened to her face? <laughs> Disappeared. Go to the combini. Get something. Oops. Uh, oh no! Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Are you feeling better? Okay, good. 
Be mm, I'm sorry. That super sucks. Thank you. I actually like how that looks like, but I kind of want to implement some of the other colors I'm seeing in this other piece that I'm... Yeah. Ooh, bowl noodles, two eggs, soy sauce. That sounds amazing. <sighs> hydrated. Everybody, make sure you stay hydrated. Cool. All right, let me save that. Then let me take a quick. Where is it? Um, okay. That's awful. I can just see that as like, I don't know, being <laughs> extremely frightening. Okay, I did want to make a bit of progress with this one. So I'm gonna go and gonna edit because this one has his mouth open
that's two hedges. There's a third one here, but he's in a little more extreme, and I need to draw him differently. <laughs> I say that this drawing is progressing really well. Really? Wow! <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys are crazy. I've I can't even believe that I've been streaming for seven months. Like, what's going on? <laughs> oh my God! Burn! Oh my god, hype train! <laughs> oh, you guys! <laughs> oh, thank you for following Big Celtic. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, you guys! <laughs> There's a hype train going on. That's the first time I've ever had a hype train. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. Who has it? Does Cat have the, the train then? I'm wondering who, who got the thing for that. Oh, thank you so much. You guys are crazy. <laughs> Indeed, hype train. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh man, I suddenly have an audience. Ooh, the pressure. <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you. Thank you. Don't mess up, Trotto. <laughs> That's the first time anyone's cheered here. Thank you. Oh. You guys. Oh my god. You're making my cheeks hurt. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, stop. I'm so glad your boy dragon isn't here because this would have been a mess. Oh. Let's see you then. Oh, thank you, Nate. Love you too. Love you guys. Thank you. You guys are crazy. Now I have to draw this hedgehog with so much pressure. Well, it was going alright, but now it's crazy good because of you guys. Hedge that hog! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no. I don't think I can draw like that. I think that's the... So, in reality, I actually feel a lot of pressure when someone's just looking over my shoulder. And I can't find myself drawing that easily. But on stream, because it's like, I don't really feel that presence over my shoulder. I'm able to draw. 
so no, I'm not gonna think that. <laughs> oh, the pressure, I gotta get this line right. No! There. Okay, we're doing fine, we're doing fine. Wait, where's that other hedgehog? Oh yeah, Fern and Nate, you guys need to tell me what uh, hoodie that you guys are looking at, because, you know. <laughs> Good line. <It's laughs> In coins! Oh god, just being pelted with coins. 13 people over your shoulders, not only watching, but streaming things like Good Line and Hitch That Hog! Ah, dude, the Capybara shirt is mwah. So, because you guys have made my day, I'm just gonna let you in on a little secret. I have two, like, lines that, um, that I want to release with Star Chonks, and one is the Zodiac. Aww. I was wondering, no one got the train? That's lame. Maybe because Cat has too many badges. Wait, what? It says that, like, stretch song support level 1 complete. Hype shield? <laughs> oh, okay. You guys are getting the hype train, what, like, I'm getting emotes. Okay, got it. Everyone has, like, hype stuff. Hype. Yeah. Oh, there you go! Nate is our train conductor! Choo-choo, motherfucker! <laughs> Nate is our hype train conductor. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, <laughs> Nana heard you. <laughs> oh, man. How am I supposed to live up to this? Forbidden, <laughs> oh. Most from people I don't know I followed. <laughs> Come back. I no! Brandon, you missed the hype train! <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Uh, what is up with that? Whenever it's Nana or Fern, Brandon just misses it. It's just like Brandon has Fern and Nate blindness. I thought that Senpai already noticed you guys, but there it is. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Stop. Oh, jeez. All started your favorite beer. Was <laughs> it Norman Dart? <laughs> are, are you sure you want me to hedge this hog? It's pretty freaky. I don't know if you realize, but he is firing some lasers. Operation Hodge 
<laughs> Hi, Kendra. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Guys. Stop. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel like... Now I feel like we need a hedgehog emote. Brandon has already forgotten the Great Cat Wars and all the epic posters made in the name of the Epic Cat War. Never! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I had to like turn the mic down a little because I'm peeking. Oh. to draw can see what's being drawn. <laughs> Hedge the hawk <laughs> by any means necessary. Just tr start drawing a lot of hedges and just like hedges. Hedges near this hog. Just lots of hedges. He's, b he's been hedged. The hog has been hedged. Oh man, look at that hedge. The hedges. Hog has no hedges. Wait, oh no. Oh no, I made a mistake. <laughs> oh god, the pressure. There we go. On the back. Too much. <laughs> it's so weird too, because I'm hearing like the family feud, like ding. <laughs> just because you guys said that, I just need to redraw that lip. You guys are making my day. Thank you so much. I do want it to be more open. All right. Night, Nana. Thanks for stopping by. I think I'm gonna draw this guy's mouth and then I'm gonna switch to another drawing. for all the day. <laughs> Aww. I've done no such thing. 
Oh, shoot. I forgot this guy's bottom mouth screw. Um... This guy. Cool. Now I can draw screws on this one. Aside from raiding me and like making my day awesome, how are you guys been doing? How was your stream, Nate? Nice, nice. It's always a good day when some decent catch up has been done. Okay, I need a new canvas. Put this in here. I just need to see a reference. It's possible to need ice cream? Dude, it's very possible to need ice cream. Oh man, cat, I feel ya. It feels like, man, doesn't it feel like it was just January and now it's already April? I'm trying to catch up with my Animal Crossing. I'm trying to get all the Sakura recipes this one. Ugh, guys. It feels like there isn't enough time in the day.
see. That looks a little, just a little off, so I'm gonna move it. How's your Animal Crossing town, cat? You're like one of the few people I know that still play. <laughs> I'm some of those nights where I can't find something to focus my- Oh, uh, I feel ya. Yeah. Okay, I really feel like this circle is throwing me off, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. There we go, that's what I wanted. It's kind of more similar to what the others have. And similar is all I need. Don't need exact. This could be a different model hog. Oops. There we go. And... Don't be like, you know, the, the beauty of Animal Crossing is you can take your time. I feel like that mouth is way too wide. Um, also, if you need Sanrio items, I have a couple of them. Cat has some of them. And of course, we'll be willing to just send you some. I don't think I even need to speak for Cat. Wait. Where is it? Oh no, did I put them? Oh no. I put them in this one, didn't I? Yup, yup, I did. I need to fix that, because that's going to get confusing. Made with this. Ah, I can f see that. I always get thoughts like that whenever I think about Animal Crossing, just like restarting. But I really like where my town is at, and I really love all my my villagers. 
So I don't think I can restart. I know someone who did, though. I'm like, man, you're brave. Good for you. Um, but if you're not attached to your villagers, I mean, why not, right? And you can just, like, with us still here and playing Animal Crossing, I feel like you can catch up really fast if you really wanted to. Uh-oh. So, it's not as daunting as you think. For me, it's more just like the attachment to my villagers. Because, um, let me see. Most of them I got randomly. So, I can, if they leave, I can't get them back. There's a couple that I did by Amiibo card. But, for example, like, Rolled, was, Rolled and Rocket were the, f the first villagers I had. Um, Marshall I got by an island and then let's see Boomer I got by an island um, Bunny I got through a camp and then it's Olivia and Kabuki Kiki I got through the camp so Olivia and Kabuki I have the amiibo cards for I actually have the amiibo card for Kiki as well but uh, it'd be so hard I would not be able to like boomer boomer is an essential part of my island on oh, hornsby hornsby's my baby i got him through like the islands yeah there's no way i can't i can't restart i'm too attached to basically everyone in my island all right now i'm gonna make some progress with another this one I'm gonna Is it just the first one? What? What happened? Oh no. What? Wait, okay. Oh god, that scared me. It's here. There it is. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. Whew. No, wait, the paper stays out. That goes in here. Ma'am, I thought I lost this sketch. No, I didn't. Almost thought I did. It didn't, though. It was just like hidden. Oh wait. All right. I really like the face I gave him. my island to be like the lost dude i mean i think that it's very possible now because yeah especially with the extra custom slots um and like if you think about all the things that you can get from there i think it's totally possible the only thing would be the the plane's crash landing site Cause that'd be a little hard to recreate but 
You can use things like the rocket ship. I mean, oh man, I think that'd be super fun. Theme islands are always really cool. The hard part is trying to like get through the theme without ruining the functionality of the island. Um, like the Zelda island, have you guys seen that one? Like it's crazy. Like you tried to make it to map with while making it still functional as like an island and you can still do your daily stuff. I'm just like, oh my god. Because that's the hardest part, is like retaining functionality. Oops. a different facial pattern. Huh? I better change that then. His ears are even more of a nubs than what I drew. Mm. There you go. Yes, it is a little otter. How does the effect that stuff that spawns again? Well, like you, I think now they've made it so that um, NPCs spawn at least once a week, but it's random who comes. Did you guys want me to let you know when Celeste is in my island? Cause she's visited a few times that I've never told anyone because I thought that I was the only one left playing Animal Crossing. Yeah, I can't really tell, so we just use artistic artistic license to change that up. Okay. If I see her again, I'll let you know. Hopefully you guys will be awake. Walking along. Well, now that I know, I will let you guys know when she's in town.
filters. Too. Oh man. Everybody's getting Monster Hunter Rise. want it we're kind of debating if we're gonna get it still or not so we're still like just on that thinking period of hmm should we get this or should we not but like like, the biggest lore to it right now is, you know, everyone's playing it, and a lot of our friends that we know are playing it. The thing is, like, I'm, I'm not that good, really, with, like, the Monster Hunter games. I just really like playing it. But, you know, some people are a little more into it than others. Like, if you play with me, all I'll be doing with most times is, like, screaming. <laughs> I didn't know that. How's, like, have you played the online functionality yet? Well, I've seen my friends play it, like, Janie, I don't know if she's around, but... And it seems to work really well. Like, I don't think she's had any issues with, like, lag or anything. When I see her play it. It's about time freaking Nintendo updated their online. All right. Well, was there anything that comes down here? Um, let me real quick check. Welcome back from the combini! Yay! Oh! Paw prints. Need his little paw prints. Oops. There we 
go. Then I think I can put that here. Change that to say heading for the stream. Up on and if I seem like I'm typing terribly, that's because I have to type over my tablet monitor. Get comfy. I don't really have like a mount for it yet or anything. There. Oh, uh. I have to follow the grass. How does it look to you? Because ultimately, this is your. I prefer personally for the just the plain old horizontal. It's easy to read. But I mean, if you like it diagonal, I'm not gonna stop you. I can't get it to be the same as the otter because it fights like some of the angles I've done here because you know grass random but all right thanks cat well I will It does, and uh, like, as you, like, I'm, for me, right now, I'm just like, because our angle isn't exactly just straight up diagonal, as you can see, we have like, a different diagonal here, and a different diagonal here, um, it's kind of like, okay, where do I align this diagonal, here, or here, or here, um, and I have to kind of follow that, so if I put if I follow the otter's diagonal and if I put the text here, it kind of fights this diagonal in a way. So... That's, that's my uh, perspective on it. This one, you kind of know it's separate from the plane of the image. So you're not going to be like, oh, why is that in a different diagonal? I mean, not that people question that stuff, but um, sometimes you just question it in your head. I'm just trying to make sure that the text is fairly readable. Yeah, there you go. Are you going to have the same colors as the end card, like this gradient here? Let me duplicate that. 
And get the paper texture on. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me get a brown color. Oops. Actually, that's normally white. I don't like to squeegee, just a beaky. I think the text should be um, a little darker. Make it easy to read. Can I just do that? No, I can't. Okay, I do need to. Washed out look at the edges. Um with a color so like when the color's on the edges will be like let's make a quick sample so let's just say grass it's kind of like that it fades in in the edge there This one's kind of like a dirty type path. quickly then go ahead and add a bit more color I need to fix that then that makes this look really weird but that's easy to do something different for this but there you go mm. it kind of almost looks like ripped paper what do you feel about that look duke it's like ripped paper think about it there's many ways to do this I'm just gonna leave that there for now all right oh that's a lot of drawing we still have time for some hidden object thing so I think we should I think we should so give me a quick burb I set everything up for that. Oops, let me save this so that I don't.
And then we will do some... Ah, sorry, sorry. Hidden object thing. Gimp? I mean... Okay, here's the thing, right? If you're completely clueless with any, like, programs, you can start with anything. Because with any program that you'll use, there will always be a learning curve. Like, always. Um, I haven't used GIMP myself, so I can't say what the experience is like. But for example, I was looking through different um, art uh, programs one day. And, you know, Krita is one of the most famous ones. So I decided I'd try it out. But as someone who's so used to Photoshop shortcuts and commands, Krita is almost like it but not um, and it's different in there's way too many I think B is still brush but like I think every other command is different and so I just ended up getting super frustrated with Krita and I couldn't really learn how to use it properly because I was just angry <laughs> that like so, because I before using Krita I tried to get on Clip Studio Because this was when a time um, my tablet stopped working for um, Creamy's computer. And so I had to use it for my. Um, I had to use it for my computer. And Photoshop was just too much for it. So I was trying to look for a different program. So here's the thing, um, if you learn, um, if you get a new program, you'll, you'll always just have to learn how the things work in that program, right? So you can basically choose any program you want to try learning. Um, Krita is a bit more powerful than GIMP. GIMP works fine, from what I know. Like, I know someone who uses GIMP all the time. Um, and it worked fantastically for them. So, there really isn't, like, a right or wrong answer, I feel. Because I feel that when you're going into a new, like... If you're not used to using any art programs at all, it, like aside from, let's say, you know, Microsoft Paint, all art programs will have some kind of learning curve. So you're basic, like, as long as, I think, uh, no, because I was thinking Blender, no, Blender has a really high learning curve, but that doesn't have a drawing tool and you just want some kind of drawing tool. So most places that have drawing tool the only thing is vector unless you're doing vector because that has a very different way of doing things compared to like just drawing things on paper then like you know you can use like inkscape for that's a good free vector program but like again with any program there's gonna be a bit of a learning curve so if you're gonna go ahead and learn a program anyway, I would just look to see what can you make with the program. So I think, for example, between GIMP and Krita, Krita is gonna be a little bit more powerful. Uh, so you have more potential. Uh, so that's what I would just look into it more than like, is this good for beginners? Cause there's lots of just basic drawing tools out there. Um, but again, I haven't used GIMP myself, so I can't really say. Uh, for me, it's way too basic. Uh, for what I, it's it's like a a more powered up version of Paint. Um, it has a lot of good tools, but I would 
if I, you know, I would lean for my personal things, I would lean more towards Krita. Um, I mean, if you're gonna go ahead, like, try it out. That's honestly, that's one of the only ways that I really feel like you can fully manifest to see if it works for you or not. Because, like, I started with Photoshop, you know? And that's, I wouldn't exactly call that simple, but you can do lots of things with it, even not knowing anything. And I think that's true for a lot of image drawing slash editing software. Um, I think then if you're gonna just do uh, more photo manipulation, I would look b between the two of those, Krita and Gimp, because they're both free, um, and see which one has better manipulation options, and then go from there. Because I think that's the best way to do it. Again, because my stance is more like, well, you're gonna learn a new program anyway. So research which program you can do more with. Updating that channel, updated. Now we are. I better turn this off. Guess where we're at? Oops. Why is that on? Doom. There you go. Uh, no. Okay. Go on, Shadow. We're here. I almost restarted the game. That's scary. Did I write that down? Yes, I did. Good. Oh, here it is. Two. Oh, damn it. Why is the password somewhere so close? Don't get it. Chest. I co you come back to point and click. We'll come back to point and click. <laughs> uh, knock out the pig. Don't we have any tools? We have a shovel handle. I'm sure that's good enough. Oh, whatever, Alex. With your bare fingers. No, we have scissors. What's that? token. Does that work for this? Did I misclick? No. Doesn't work for that. Anyway. Let's go. Ah, that's right. This place is huge. I forgot about that. Hold on. Hidden object thing. Uh -huh. but then shh. Really should have a soundboard. Pear. Fox, um, toy horse, oak, leaf, dream, catcher, pitchfork, rolling pin, frog, mouse trap, and some mushrooms. And that would be it for our um, easy to find objects. Alright, now. Photo of a parrot. Where's the camera? There should be a camera. No. And a scorpion. Yeah, the scorpion. We we didn't just get the parrot. We wanted to get the photo of it. Oh, okay.
Okay, the scorpion's there. I need a... There. No, didn't say cheese. What do we get? Pitchfork. For the hay. Ugh, I hated that. It's just like, oh, I can't move the hay. Okay, it doesn't have a handle. Okay, so we did that. Oh wait, do I have coins? Yes. Cheeseburger. Um, I can imagine. Let's see. I expected the Mystic's machine to tell me the future, but it printed a schematic instead. Better keep it. Hmm. This one. Up, down, down, up, down. Up, down, down, up, down. Maybe I need to close the lights? Ah. When I set the switches according to the schematic the fortune, the te fortune telling machine, first of all on the table, projected an image of the four card suits on the wall. What does that mean? Oh god, I don't remember what that meant. Here. Oh, yes, here. Um, heart, club, diamond, spade. Heart. Spade is here. Diamond. Club. Elephant! Oh no, there was a. Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> there was a hidden symbol here. Um, but I haven't gotten it yet. Oh no, what if it was there? I wasn't looking. I was too focused on solving the puzzle. Dang it. No, I can't go back. <laughs> oh, fuzzy pickles. Darn. We may have missed that one. Is the big, oh, damn. Is the big key for you? Oh, the big key's for you. Um, alright, let's see. Click on the clock hands to release every clock in the middle of the box. What? To release every lock in the middle? Oh, 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 I see it. I don't quite understand what logic it runs on though. Cause like, it's not, mo this one isn't moving. Yeah. It's moving like the every other one. This one is moving every two. It is time for puzzle o'clock. This one Trying to see, like, what logic these hands run on. Because 
like, this doesn't move the ones that are next to each other. I've never used that button so much more than I have in this particular puzzle. What? Mechanical handle. Okay. There's still more. <gasps> For you. A very small handle for a big door. I was like, that looks like hidden object. Indeed, I was right. Drive chain? Is that this? No. What's drive chain? It does need a new tire. Oh, this thing? Yep. Hanging. I think that was... Yeah. Wait, what were we? Rabbit glove. Spool dog purse. Arrow. Hang on. Rabbit glove. Oh, yeah, maybe you thought that was this. Yeah. Something. The scythe has no blade. Okay. Um. Here. Are we gonna get the scythe? The plane they're talking about is freaking... Okay. Spool. And a purse. Is it in here? No, it wasn't. Also, I need a spool. A spool. Is that a spool? Yes. Okay. Now we need the purse. Um, and that is one of those ones that require me to do a thing. Purse. Mm -hmm. Nothing is giving me an indication of like, yeah, hold this. 
And that's the only place I can zoom in. Oh, there it is. We got it, and we got a drive chain. What for? This? Okay, there. A ladder? We only need the ladder for this. <laughs> this, that. We're not going inside. We just need to see the music box. Um, we still have the cipher. Oh, there's a, there's a symbol, a hidden symbol in here. Mm. They normally don't hide it in the hidden object stuff, so that's good. Rope. Good. I'm glad I went back. It's probably inside. Hmm. Mm. Alright, let's go to a different place. I don't think... Oh, there's another one here. Hmm. Bucket and a bean. Ah, okay. I saw in the thing what I needed to do. Bucket. No. That's where the picture of a bird. Can I just acid it away? Nope. It doesn't want me to acid it away. Um, this one? Acid. Hidden object. Man, there's a lot. Cat. Hammer. Um, Maracas. Brass knuckles. Spoon. Frog bracelet. Okay, didn't have to be lit. Frog. Bracelet? Yes. Chisel. Chisel, seashell, seashell. Seashell. Doll. Drum. Alright, what do we need? What do we need for this drum? That. That is what we needed. Okay. I'm gonna have to ruin it at some point, I'm sure. Pretty much, right? <laughs> okay. So, these guys decided they were gonna be asses. So... Wait, I have to... 
Yeah, I still have to edit that. Okay. Wait, no. Um. Maybe I should make it a point to form these instead. Instead of these. Might be easier. Maybe. Not sure. So next is heart. Okay. The next is gray. Oops. got shifted. Um. Okay. Now I need to shift the skull up. I need to shift this down. How do I shift that down? I need to shift this. Hmm. Yo, got it. Symbol. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Um, well, there's a door. We got a machete. We need roses, I guess. Um, one bell is missing. Do you have a bell? No. We need to search the nest, but it's too high to reach. But we do this and the secret symbol. Shovel handle. We still haven't gotten that goddamn shovel. Mm, tree. Oh, that's for the. Okay, well, well, we got this area unlocked. Um, oil lamp. Okay. How about we break them with a hammer? <gasps> that actually worked! Okay, I got one of the roses for the grave. Let me just go ahead and put that in there. Um, oh, there's gonna be more. Anyway. More hidden objecting! Skull... There's a duck. Wait, can that no, that's not the weight. This one? Yes. Coin. Saw. All. Watermelon. Walnut? <laughs> I was like, I don't know, but that looks like a walnut. Comb. Comb. Eyeglasses, feather hat, feather hat, and bell. 
that's probably what we need is the bell. And that's what we're gonna get from this uh, area. There's a bell. Uh, a clapper. Clapper? Yes. You got bell. Cool. Um, now we need to go back to the outside area for this thing. Oh. That's probably for this also. Um, there. Maybe later? I don't know. It looks like something should be there. Uh. Still need this. Hammer? Hammer. I needed that. Maybe. You never know. Um, there was the... Here. Yeah. Music box key, maybe? That's outside. Here. There's a hidden object. That wasn't what I was expecting. Ding, ding, ding. There's so many. <laughs> I think we've solved like five in the last two minutes. Um, whip, boomerang, I mean, not that it's bad, but just surprised with the frequency of it. Boot, and, yeah, it's the sanding tool. It's super annoying, because it's like. Or like birdie. This is also called a birdie. Oh, the totem. Yes. And so like, you know, when they're like birdie, like what do you mean? And then plane is not like this plane, it's this plane. Somebody didn't like that. Um, okay, all the rest are some things that should just be out in the open. Envelope. Trap. Tennis racket. Trap. And gear. And the other boot. I don't know where the other boot is. It wasn't here. Um. Boot. Boot. Where are you? Ah, there it is. We found a syringe. Okay. Oh, oops. Signet key. There's a hidden symbol in here. Oh, there it is. <gasps> the handle. We finally got the dumb shovel. Uh, where was that again? Where was that? Here. Yeah, it was here. Because we couldn't be bothered to use our hands. We couldn't just pull that out of there? Okay. Whatever, dude. <laughs> this guy's unbelievable. Okay, there is a... Oh, it's here. It's in this room. Oh, it might be in there. Oh, yeah, we needed a handle. We don't have it yet. Um... Do you have a key for that? Nope. Ah, 
another ring. There's another bird picture and a bunch of other s interesting stuff like that. Let's see, one second. All right. Um, okay, we have a bunch of stuff. Um, uh, machete? Yes. Now we have a fleur de lis. Ah, for this thing. Um, uh, we're still missing a picture. Okay. Mm. No, acid for something. We don't have that yet. Spider? For the Lee? No. Scepter. It was the scepter. Oh my gosh. We have an R. We have a key. Is that. Oh yeah, another cipher. We have an R and an E. We have a RE! Are you the key? You are the key. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Oh! Maybe that's what I. Um, Need it for uh where's that place? This one. Uh syringe. Syringe. Where's the syringe? I was right. And what do we got? Man, there is a lot of cars over here. We got a broken ladder. Puzzle. Oh, man. Form a connection between the two red wires. You can rotate only the green wires. Okay. Okay. Alright. I feel like we need the blue wires, so we're just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna... Ugh, I don't like this noise. <laughs> I'm gonna mute the game. Because that is... Oh. <laughs> Cannot... There we go. Okay. Now I can put the sound back on. Okay. So we needed that for two of the trolling. Why is that target there? I can use a rope this way. What? What do you mean, how? Lift. I need, I need something else. Also, I don't know what the fuck that means. Why is that target there? It's a ladder. We need the ladder for something. Okay. Um, what do we get in our inventory? Yeah, it's still this one, right? But can't we need the other gold rose? I don't think I have it yet. No. Um. Oh, more hidden object. Nice annoying, but the puzzle shouldn't be. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, that puzzle wasn't annoying. Oh, a banana! Oh, Nana isn't here. Mango pit. What a terrible way to cut a mango. Why don't we eat the mango? It's delicious. Flower. Sensor. Idol. Cork. Uh, is there a rope here? No. Peas, though. I, I know where the letter S is. It's right there. 
saw that earlier. Acorn. This goblet. There's a cannonball. But we need Yeah. Um <laughs> random matches. That's funny. Rope. Where's the rope? Oh, it's right there. Um I don't know what this is, but it looks fascinating. Okay, now we need to get that rope, that rope, that cannon out somehow. Turtle, go! Crowbar. Crowbar was what we needed. We're carrying a cannonball in our pockets. Can we tie that? No. I don't think we need that for anything in here. Fleur de lis? No. Spider? No. Cannonball. <laughs> no, it's not the cannonball, unfortunately. Oh, it's for this thing. I forgot about this. That was a secret symbol. Shotgun isn't loaded. Does it have to be? Load it with a cannonball. Nope. Okay, we need some shotgun ammo. Was that the... That was a secret symbol in that room. We got the secret symbol. Nice. And it looks like we got the secret symbol here. I remember there was one, but now it's gone. Huh. Okay. Wait, I, w I clicked on a wrong area uh, there's still something else we need here oh this thing but we don't have something for that yet this is a separate room yes 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 it is hmm We need the gate lifted open first. I don't know what the cipher is for. Okay, oh. <sighs> I need to research that. Oh, we need the shotgun for that. <laughs> okay. I don't have the other rose still. I'm trying to recall where else we need stuff because, you know, that's part of it. But, like, I'm not. You know, we need that. We don't have a spider figurine. What do we need those for? Ladder. I'm trying to recall what might potentially need. So let's. This is the area. This is the opening area. We already got the stuff here. Yeah. Like. I'm just gonna go through each area. Yeah, we need that still, but we don't have a key for it yet and I think we're done with this room to be honest yeah cause that was what we too dark in here it's too dark with this bright glowing green ball yeah we need that looks kinda creepy boxing okay we don't need those Okay. Got nothing to do there. 
We still need the thing for that, but we don't really have it yet. I'm just going through each room because I don't remember what's here anymore. Um, and what we need in case like we needed a thing that I missed. But looks like we're done with this area. Did we go through this one? Yes, that was the first one I went to. Alright, so this is the place where we need a thing. And we need the shotgun balls. Nothing more to look at here. So we've seen all that needs to be seen. Now we need the rose. Yeah. Mm. Did we miss a place? No, I don't. I think we went to basically every except for these two, but I think that's kind of related. Let's um, let's use her. Okay. Okay, they're leading us here. Oh, I forgot about that nest. Oh, there's the thing. Alright. roots. Shotgun ammo and an M. Alright, so now we need to go to this yeah, this room. Put in the cartridges. Get that. And we've been kicked out. And there's still some- oh yeah, we still have the drawer that we need to open. We have good aim. Someone wanted to have fun, so that's what they did for a switch. Ooh! R-E-M. <laughs> Possibly. Ah, uh, oh hey! We can give the guy the shield. That's probably what the shield is for. Yeah, when he needs a sword. How about a machete? Nope. <sighs> Keyhole broken hole. How do I get that? Okay. Anyway, let's look for things. Steering wheel, apple. Um, gem. Where's the gem? Sword is above the lantern. Oh, thank you. That's probably what we're getting here. Sundial. Kango. Letter. Letter. Um, do we need anything from here? I like this dude with the hat. <laughs> Is there a leaf here? No leaves. Hey, Caro! What's up? Oh, a snail. <laughs> I, I was like, what? What did I click? <laughs> um, look. Okay, cool. Hook. Oh, there's the kangaroo. I see it. I see it now. And leaf. Hard hat. Okay, fine. There's your light. And now we need a uh, pick. There you go. How are you feeling today? Are you resting? That's not for later then, I guess. Who made this device and why? That's a very good question. Q. 
see. Um, let's go back to... There is a secret symbol there. This... Good, good. Access card. Fascinating. Oh, that's for the the place we just had. we were just at. Um, but there is a secret symbol here, and more hidden objects. One second. Is there supposedly? Is this a new room? It's not considered a new room. So ah, there it is. Found it. We just need one more. Yep, that was it. Before we go do that, that's another hidden object. A full quiver. Alright, so we need the arrows. Is that full enough? That was full enough. A boomerang skull. That's a red bowling ball. Okay, I wasn't paying attention at all to what we need to find. In the zoom area. Oh, you are correct. And the boomerang as well. Um, do we need anything else? Goggles? I thought I saw goggles here. No. Gas mask ring. Goggles. Gas mask. Um, yarn. Watering can shovel. Okay, that worked. Gun. I just saw that. Spoon. Watering can. There it was. Skull. Now we need a skull. But it's one of those things that we need an object to do the thing. No. It's right there. Okay, we got pliers. Um, okay. Pliers is for a future item. Ugh. For this, I imagine. That was it. <laughs> we need. We didn't need to do anything. Secret. Ah, this is where the games. Ah, here we are. Engrams. Um. Him. We're missing a few. Missing an uh, an eye. And an O. Probably initials. I have a spider. I was searching the writing desk and found a drawing of several birds. I saw sketches just like them in the mecha mechanism in the greenhouse. I'm going to take the drawing with me. That's a very good observation. Astute. I'm, I see what I need to click and I just want to click on other things just in case. Okay, cool. We need we got the clue. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Why is that glowing? Okay. Oh, one piece is missing. That one. Glue it. Puzzle. Oh, this one. Oh, this queen puzzle. I know, like, one of them has to, like, gosh, I don't truly remember, but. What? 
why why would that be lit I don't understand what that means does that mean it's being eaten or does that mean it's in a good place I know like some of it is like down here. Some kind of weird offset. But yeah, these two are in direct opposition. Why are these not set? Um Oh, because, yeah. Uh, I remember this puzzle, but like, there's a definitive solution to this, but I don't recall what that solution is. Um. Hmm. Oh, one second. Hold on. I need to read. Just checking my messages. I needed to check that one. Mm, okay, let's see. This one, these three are good. This one, this one, this one's good. Uh, the one that's here, uh, that's right, that's there. Um, what if we switch it? Uh, this thing, this thing is making it not work. Um, here. Ooh. Um. These two are okay. Um, dang it. <laughs> Where is there is a line that I'm not occupying? This is the line that I'm not occupying. The object of this puzzle is to put all the queens such that uh, none of them are going to eat each other. I did it. Yeah, it's a really common puzzle. Um, I've seen that puzzle many times before, but there is like a solution for it. Which we got. Uh, so I think the one, there's a hidden symbol in here. I think it's that one, but I can't click it. There wasn't one here. There one oh, there it is. We got all the hidden symbols. I thought that we missed one, but you know what? We got it all. We got it all, folks. All right, let's go outside to the garden area. Here it is. This thing. I have unlocked an achievement. So that this one. Then this one. 
can... This one? Ah, why did I click out? Damn it! Okay, cool. It didn't... Then this one, and what was the other one? I think it was... You know what? I'll just look. The birds on the mechanism in the greenhouse sang, calling a parrot to them. Drawing three, a drawing of three circles was attached to the parrot's claws. What significance does the circles have? We'll find out. Eventually, we'll open this drawer. Um, actually, I just realized we don't really have a... We're missing this, which I don't have. We have a machete. Uh, machete. Where to use? Do we just... Oh my god, we do! <laughs> oh boy. I, was, I thought that we would just go and find like whatever thing that needed to be there. Nope, you just open the drawer, pry it open with a machete. Even though, even though we had a pair of perfectly good scissors earlier and also like I think we had a screwdriver at one point. I don't know, man. Oh, here's the thing. Um, so half. And then the other one was... This one's here. This one was mostly down. Good! I found the Crime Syndicate's journal! <gasps> was that it? Thank you for your work, Mr. Hunter. You did well. Using the journal you found, we were able to arrest every member of the criminal syndicate. We hadn't even come close to realizing the scope of their misdeeds. You've performed a valuable service for this city, Mr. Hunter. I hope we can work together again someday. Thank you again for your help. And good luck. <laughs> Nowhere near me, that's for sure. Credits. Ah, okay. I was like, where's the credits? I don't see any names. <laughs> Let's let the credits play, and then we'll do our usual type a review for this game. What do you guys think? Ugh, I didn't really like some of the sound effects they used for the puzzles, and I don't know what it was about the puzzles and, oh god, that kid, not kid. Ugh. I don't know what it was with some of the puzzles they have. It just wasn't, it didn't engage me to have fun. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like the one, uh, I put in so much work to try and solve that puzzle. Um, Maybe it's because I'm streaming that, like, um, makes it seem like the, the puzzle is frustrating, but when you are spending quite a bit of time for a single puzzle, it is pretty, like, it's pretty annoying because you're wasting quite a bit of time. I wouldn't call it wasting if you're, you know, some people would probably find those puzzles really easy, but that pipe puzzle, for example, like, it just wasn't done clearly because it made me think that there was one entry to the boiler and we were supposed to connect like the the pipes you know through that one connection but it seemed like all three of the pipes that were like on you know for example this was the boiler there were three pipes here it didn't look like the other two below were connected the only one on the top looked like it was connected and so I was just struggling because and the puzzle solution didn't make any sense to me because I was just thinking like wait a second like those two pipes are not connected so why is that but I guess they were it just wasn't shown clearly um and yeah, some of the puzzles were really hit and miss um and ugh, the sound effects Oh, there were so many of them that was just really hard on the ears. And when you're wearing headphones, like when we did the shooting gallery one, oh god, that was that was not fun at all. Um, really unfortunate. 
but hey we got it what's the extras platinum edition oh we had the platinum edition so yeah anyone he wants anyone -y. there's a secret room told me owen was one of the <gasps> unfortunately the improved this wait is this another room Oh wait, are we just playing the, the thing again? I think we are. Wait, hold on. No, this is, this is something else. Oh. Create a square using the game pieces. Okay, there is a certain solution to- Okay, there it is. That's when you know you got the solution. <laughs> um, there is a secret bonus game! Wait, we still need more proof? I thought we solved it. Not that one. This one? That one didn't work. Um, wait, what? Oh, this one. There you go. Uh, wow, I'm actually kind of stunned that there's still some stuff here. I was just like, wait, it's not done yet? <laughs> No? Okay, that's not the piece there. I seriously thought that it was. Okay, that's here. Because that's the only one with a curve. Sorry. I didn't put it in properly. Oh my gosh! There is more. Shot by police while trying to escape. Arrested. Died while being arrested. Oh, Charles Owen. Arrested. What is this room? Thomas Milton. Engaged. Arrested. What? Wait, what is this room? Is it just like, kind of like an epilogue? Wait, what? I need it. Why? Oh my god! Oh. Horizon. Two months after Charles Owen's death, chilling information about what took place in the hospital was made public. Please believe Dr. Owen conducted dangerous experiments on his patients. Experiments that resulted in at least five deaths and caused a dozen people to go insane. Perpetor, perpetor, ooh, little, little. Professor Patterson, a witness in the investigation, said that the victims could be higher as a doctor sometimes performed experiments on homeless people whose lives were not taken into account. Dr. Owen's experiments resulted in the creation of a machine dubbed Lord of the Mind. The machine was severely damaged during the doctor's arrest and then discarded. Drawings of the infernal device have not been found. You should not say that and encourage people. This is like a weird epilogue. Oh, there's the code. The fish figurine found a container note with strange schematic. I better keep it as I might need it. Well, oh, we need a button. Because, like, this is... I think all of the parts we need are... No, it's not. Some of it's there. Oh! Oh, we can move it! Oh! Oh! Okay. And the last one is middle. Oliver's clock tower. Yeah, this is just like lore stuff, but hidden in a 
like a puzzle room. That's kind of neat, actually. As Oliver said, the clock would never need maintenance. It was based on an engine he designed that would never fail. Famous last word. Despite insurances, the clock stopped working 70 years after it started. Local authorities decided to rebuild the tower, a process that required them to dismantle part of the eastern wall. No engineering models were found in the tower. Oh, it's the schematic for the Lord of the Mind! Dangerous stuff. Letter opener. We can access the X files, guys! Oh man, the X files. Ooh. Let's read. Do Detective James Donovan. James Donovan was born October 2nd, 1851. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna read all of that. Investigation. Married, has two sons. Playing bridge. Hmm. Isaac Patterson. I don't I don't even know what bridge is. One hundred patents. Charles Owen. That's the X Files. The X Files is just on these three people. Ah. That's not a significant X Files. What are we watching? <gasps> Ooh, a movie. Oh no, we're gonna watch an experiment. What a terrible movie. Oh wait, no. I don't like that movie at all. Is this- that's it? I think that's it. I think it, this is just basically a secret room that just has like, you know. Hold on. If I go back, it's still- yeah, it's still- it's just like a, a place for me to see like, ooh, post credits, what happened? That's actually kind of neat. That was neater than the game. Oh no! We need to complete the the game without skipping more than three mini games. Nope. Complete without traveling. What? <laughs> Hints 209. Nope. Solve in less than 20 seconds? What? Which- you'd have to know the solutions to those games. The solution is fish. Nah. Wallpapers. Oh, does anybody want this wallpaper? Come on now. <laughs> How about scientist Dr. Patterson? Oh my god, that's cr <laughs> All right. It's time. It's time to leave our review. So, let me pull up. I'm sorry, it's dark. Um uh play. There you go. All right. Cool. Would I recommend this? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Maybe later. Wait. No! Start page. No! Okay, here it is. Over. Overall, the game wasn't bad. There were a few puzzles that were poorly drawn and made the solution unclear and some with te terrible sound effects that made it a pain to complete. I don't 
know what it was about this game, but many of the puzzles were tedious and didn't feel fun at all. Otherwise, this would have been a fun hidden object game. Well, gotta, gotta say, I did enjoy that secret room. Alright. Would I recommend this game? Hmm. Would I recommend this game? I would, actually. I would. I'd, oops. Re recommend this game, but definitely buy it on a sale for, <laughs> compared to Mountain. Dude, I enjoyed Mountain Crime Requital. That was fun for many reasons because it was so bad um i would recommend mountain crime requital so i'm just saying <laughs> we're in a bundle or something <laughs> worse than mountain <laughs> <laughs> this was worse than mountain crime. Um, what else? Oh. Sometimes Alex Hunter can be a wuss as well. <sighs> can be rather Finicky with what he can and cannot do. So that was a slightly laughable. Otherwise, this would have been a fun hidden object game. Yeah, I wasn't say that it was fully fun, but I enjoyed it enough. I enjoyed it enough to recommend, but certainly proceed with caution. Our review has been posted. Ah. And we've gone over time, but I think that was worth the overtime. We did finish the game today. Um, so on Thursday, I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, if I'll go and uh, proceed with my original plan of playing a more longer form um, adventure game. Because I think that's what the other one is. I'm not sure if that was a point and click or not. Is that other game you gave me point and click or is that just an adventure game? Yeah, unavowed. Yeah, it's a point and click. Okay. Yeah, so we might, I might start unavowed next stream. We'll see, we'll see. I need to check my progress on things. I might do a half and half where I do um, art and then unavowed at the end. And then we'll see how that goes. But for now, that's it. Um, thank you everyone for staying. Thank you for the raid, Nate. And I'm not sure if you're still there or not. Thank you, Fern. Um, for the hype train and cat. I know she's not here anymore. Um, thank you everyone who stopped by. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, it was a really fun stream today, especially that middle part. My cheeks literally were hurting. Um, and I hope to see you again in the next stream, which is Thursday. So we'll definitely be checking out Unavowed and see dipping our toes in and seeing how that's like. So keep an eye on it. For now, that's it. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.